Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the if-else statement. And also we're going to discuss some more about the uh, Boolean values. And then we're going to learn the if-else-if statement. So let's get started by going to your server script service. And by the way, you see I have a little ball in my workspace. If you like, you can go ahead and add a little ball to your workspace and then go to your server script service and add a script. So we're gonna start by declaring a local variable, local. And my variable is gonna say, is apple? Or maybe I can say, half apple. Means I have an apple. And I'm gonna set it equals to true. Right, so now if I say if half apple, then uh, print I have an apple. All right, so this is from the last lesson and you know it's gonna print I have an apple because half apple is true. Now what if I change this to false? Then just by doing this if statement it's not gonna do anything because half apple is false so the, the whole thing gets skipped. But today's lesson, we're gonna learn the if else statement. So we're gonna put in an else here. So now, if half apple is, is false, it's not true, then it's gonna execute whatever you have in the else statement here. So you can put anything you like between the else and the end and that part of the code is gonna get executed. So let's say print, and I'm gonna print, I do not have an apple. Let's play and take a look. I'm gonna open up my output window, and there it is, I do not have an apple. On the other hand, if this was true, and I'm gonna play, then it should say, I have an apple. And there you see it, I have an apple. So again, if half apple is true, this part of the code get executed, anything between if and else, but if it's false, then anything between else and the end statement gets get executed. Okay, so now next, I wanna discuss uh, some more about Boolean values. So, so far we know true and false, right? We know how the and and or and not uh, logical operators, uh, how, how they, they, they work with the uh, true and false value. But what if you use a regular value on those and and or and not operators, then then what value would return would be returned from those, right? It's very simple. In Roblox, everything is treated as true with the exception of the false value, which you already know, the false Boolean value. And another value that is treated as false is the nil value. And anything else other than, other than false and nil are gonna be treated as true. So um, let's set up a couple of examples just to confirm. So I'm gonna say local A equals to nil, which is gonna be false, and local B equals to zero. See, so in a lot of places, zero is false and one is true, but not here in Roblox. So we just wanna confirm that local C is equal to one. So that's gonna be true, we know that because anything other than nil is gonna be true. So zero and one should also be true. And you can even 
um, assign like a part in your game to a variable, say like local ball, and that is why I have a little ball here in my workspace. So this ball here, we're going to assign that to our ball var variable. So equals to game dot workspace dot ball. And that one is going to be true as well. So um, let's do a, a bunch of if statement. I'm going to say if, if uh, a then print I'm just gonna print a is true so it only it, it's only gonna print the statement if the value is true right so a is true so if it's not printed we know it's false and I'm just gonna copy this paste it here so this one is gonna be B whoops And I'm gonna copy one more time. So I got if A, A is true, if B, B is true, if C, C is true. Maybe I should have used a, a function, then I I wouldn't need to replicate the same code over and over again. I just call a function. But I'm already done. So here we go. If D then, oh, I don't have D, it's it's the ball. If ball, ball, then ball is true, all right? So we got A, B, C, and ball. Um, I guess let's play and take a look. I need the open, I, I need the output window. I need to open the output window. That's what I wanted to say. All right, so we do not have A is true here. And that's because nil is considered to be false, same as false. And we do have B is true, C is true, ball is true. So all these are true with the exception of the nil value. All right, so um, next let's go to the if, else if statement. Um, so I'm gonna remove all these. I'm just gonna add one more variable, local, have orange, which means I have an orange, right? Equals to false. So now I'm gonna use the if, have apple, then print I, of an apple. Now I'm gonna put in an else if statement here. So I'm gonna say else if there's no space in between else and if it's just one word. Else if have orange then print I have an orange. Now the last scenario, last case scenario, which means I do not have an apple, I do not have an orange, so I'm gonna go to the else here. I'm just gonna print. I do not have any fruit. All right, uh, let's take a look. So right now, half apple is true. So it says, I have an apple. All right, so it, it's just going to look for the first scenario that, that is true. So in this case, half apple is true. Even if half orange is true here, it's still going to say I have an apple because it's going to look for the first scenario that is that 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 is uh, true. Let's take a look. So there you see it. It still says I have an apple. But then if you change this value of half apple to false, 
now it's gonna say I have an orange because half apple is false so it's gonna move on to the else if statement and it's gonna check to see if I have an orange and half orange is true so it's gonna print I have an orange let's take a look and there it is I have an orange now let's move on to the final case scenario where both of these are false so I do not have an apple I do not have an orange right I do not have an apple it's gonna move on to the next one and check this one do I have an orange I do not have an orange so this is like the default the last case scenario it's gonna go to the final case and it's gonna print out I do not have any fruit let's take a look and there it is I do not have any fruit okay so that's how the if else if else and if else if works in Roblox if you would like to have some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted you can go to our YouTube channel price CP Roblox and click on the playlist here we, we have a bunch of different playlists um, there are two good playlists for new beginners here the first one is the price CP Roblox new beginner series which we are working on right now and um, you can also go to price CP Roblox extreme simple series Th this series is actually a very good series for new beginners um, just start with lesson number 001 and then go go in sequence like go zero, from 01 to 0203 because each new lesson um, the material is uh, is based upon the material that you learned from the previous lesson so if you go out of order, some of the um, material you may not be familiar with. All right, so until next time, have fun creating your own Roblox games.